southernmost point of uh, mainland Italy. We are going to go visit the lighthouse and the sanctuary. The sanctuary uh, dates back several, several centuries and then later on attacked by pirates here. So the sanctuary has been destroyed and rebuilt several times, always on the same spot. And of course there's the lighthouse, which is a modern feature. And from here it's a really great spot to come and look down over the neighboring harbor and enjoy the panoramic views. Make it down. Say you're coming from Gobipoli like we did, and if you follow the coast, you'll see the coastline start to change. Uh, the beaches will get less sandy and more rocky, and the cliffs will get higher. And pretty much once you get to this area and then continue north on the eastern side, the cliffs will get very high. It's really different from the west coast, but it's really spectacular and really beautiful. Almost everywhere that track tourists, there's always going to be little markets and little shops set up so you can get your summertime souvenirs and your Italy and Salento themed souvenirs. Right here, let's see, Gallipoli and Baia Verde, right here on the bottom. And now we're at the very tip of Santa Maria de la Roca. Okay. <laughs> Here you can really tell that you are at the very bottom of mainland Italy. You kind of see the last pieces of land and then the endless sea. These is where people can dock their boats. You can also rent boats and sign up for boat tours that take you all around and also take you to visit the different sea caves, which I really recommend. There's some really beautiful sights to see. And of course, there's plenty of seafood here. <laughs> Closer to the water, where it's hopefully a little cooler. We are in front of the church down in the city, and it's a relatively small and simple church and in the inside if I have my architecture correct it's about it's kind of in the um, high gothic style and there's a plaque on the front that is dedicated to the submarine that sank during World War II with about 55 sailors on board so let's go take a look and restaurants where you can eat and enjoy views of the water. Uh, there's also open spaces of rocky beach where you can come and take a swim or if you don't want to sit directly on the rocks there's a few lady that run along the beach and you can rent an umbrella and sunbed just like in Gallipoli and enjoy the water and take a swim. Leoka is known for being full of really amazing historical villas and they're really just 
palaces on the water. They're really beautiful, they have really unique architecture, and a lot of them have been beautifully restored and very well maintained. And so we were granted special access to take a look inside one of the villas right here on the water. So let's go and see a little bit of the local history of Leoka. You can see in the sundial the date that the villa was constructed. Usually have a lot of land in a big garden. So something special. <laughs> <laughs> 